Hey guys, it's Key. So you've just purchased the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. Well, give yourself a pat on the back because that is a great purchase. Because with the inclusion of 4K support, the new Amazon Fire Stick 4K is a brilliant option for all your gaming needs. As it supports 4K and it's got a speedy interface, fantastic variety of content and Amazon Alexa voice assistant included. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the best things you can do to it to get even more out of it. This includes adding more storage so you can install more apps, installing Google Play Store so you can install any app you want, and if you're a gamer, installing Retroarch which will let you play thousands of retro games on your Fire Stick. And I'm going to show you some apps which you all should be using. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Now today I'm going to be looking at 10 features and settings on the Amazon Fire Stick and they'll help you get maximum usage out of your Fire Stick. So without further ado, let's get on it. So the first one is the Amazon Fire TV app. Just go over to the Google Play Store and type in Fire TV and download the app. Now the great thing about this app is that it's got all the functionality of your remote control and more. And a new feature gives you vibration feedback on your phone and you've got all the features of your remote control. Also there's an on-screen keyboard so no more fiddling with the remote and Alexa is available at the top if you touch the microphone. And you've also got access to all your applications on your Fire Stick. Now, number two is screen mirroring. Basically, you've got the ability to mirror your phone or your tablet screen onto the TV. Just keep your home button pressed down and you'll get the following menu. Scroll across to the third option, which is mirroring. And the Fire Stick is now waiting for you to mirror your device to it. Now go onto your phone. Now my phone's a Samsung, so I swipe down and across and I select Smart View. And after a few moments, it'll start connecting to your phone. So once you're on, you can use your phone as normal. Now if I browse the internet, I can view it on screen. And if I rotate my screen, I can go into full view. Now this next feature is called HDMI CEC control. It basically lets you use your Amazon controller to switch on your telly. And the TV will automatically switch to the output of your Fire Stick TV. So if you're watching terrestrial TV and you want to switch over to watch some Amazon Prime video, you just press a button on the Amazon remote and the TV will automatically switch to your Fire Stick homepage. To set this up, scroll over to Display and Sound, select it and scroll down to HDMI CEC Device Control. Toggle it on and you're now able to power on your TV and your Fire Stick TV with the Fire TV remote. Okay, now this next one, some of you may know. Now you may find your Fire Stick's running slow and sluggish. Now one of the main reasons for this is that the Fire Stick is reaching its storage limit. So you need to scroll across to My Fire TV, select and then select About and scroll down to Storage. And there you can see on the right I have 520 meg or 5.28 gig available. So I could do with deleting some files. Okay, so the next one sounds quite obvious, but a lot of people still don't know about it. And that is the ability to add Bluetooth devices. So go into settings and scroll across to remotes and Bluetooth devices. From there, scroll down to other Bluetooth devices. And finally, go down to add Bluetooth devices. So from here, you can add your Bluetooth headphones, remotes, keyboards and mice. Now for the next one, let's say you're in YouTube and you close down the app. Well, the app is still running in the background and using resources. So to fully close it out and free up memory, we need to go into settings and applications and scroll down to manage installed apps and select it. And from here, we need to scroll down and find YouTube. Once you're on it, select it and then scroll down to force stop. Now this will stop the application completely from using up any more memory on your Fire Stick. Now my next hidden feature is found under accessibility. So select it and scroll down to screen magnifier. Now if you toggle it on, you'll get a whole host of options. If you hold the menu and fast forward, you'll be able to zoom into the screen. Now this can be useful if you're using the internet browser and you've got some small text on the screen you need to view. And by holding the back button and fast forward, you can toggle it on and off. Okay, so this next feature covers adding a USB port to your Fire Stick TV. So the Fire Stick comes with one port and it's where you plug in your power to the Fire Stick. So what you can do is buy an adapter that incorporates a USB port and a power input and it comes in a smart little package like this. Now I've left links in the description below where you can get these on Amazon. So it just plugs in like this and your power cord goes in the top here. And that means you have this free USB port where you can plug in your USB drive for extra storage. Or you could plug in a USB Ethernet adapter for wired internet for faster download speeds. Okay, the next one sounds pretty obvious and it's the ability to surf the internet on your Fire Stick TV. So if we do a search for Silk Browser, you can see it's an official Amazon app and it's got some pretty good features to help you browse the internet. There's a homepage with trending videos and there's an on-screen cursor to help you browse and you've got the options to change your settings here and all sorts of shortcuts on your remote control to help you browse better. Now for the next one, I'm going to show you how you can do software updates on your Fire Stick TV. 
Now, Amazon does release updates to their Fire Stick periodically. So if you do have a problem with your Fire Stick, it might be fixed with an update. All we do is scroll to My Fire TV and About and scroll down to check for updates. And as you can see, I was in fact due an update. Okay, now I'm going to be looking at some of my favorite apps on the Amazon Fire Stick TV. You should definitely try all these out. Now, if you find your Fire Stick running really slow or sluggish, this next app is going to help solve that. Okay, let's head on over to the search menu and let's type in B A C and that's it there on the bottom, background app and process lists. So let's click on that. Now I've already got this installed, but if you haven't, you'll get an option to install. Now if we click on it to open, we'll get the following page, which shows all the apps which are currently open in the background, so therefore using up memory. We've got a cleaning app, we've got a YouTube app, and we've got another YouTube app. To close all these down, we need to click on the close all apps at the top. We then scroll down and click on for stop. Once you've done that, click on the back button on your remote and it'll move on to the next one. So scroll down to full stop and click on it again. And again, click on the back button on your remote. And the last one, we just follow the same procedure. Once you've done that, click on the back button on your remote. And there you can see we've got zero apps that are open in the background. And we can exit back to the home screen. Now the next app is going to help you load apps to your Fire Stick that are not available on the Amazon App Store. And the app we need is called Downloader. So type in Downloader. Now once it's installed, it'll open up and you'll get the following page. From here, you can enter any URL to download content onto your Amazon Fire Stick. Now I've saved one URL to my favorites. You'll need to enter this manually. Once the page loads, scroll down to download and click on it and it'll download the app. Once it's completely downloaded, just click on your home button and you'll find it in your applications. So long press on your home button and bring up your apps. And then scroll your way down and open the app. Now once you get into the app store, you're going to find you've got a load of choice, similar to the content you find on the Google Android app store. Now for some of these apps to work, you're going to need to pair up a Bluetooth controller. Now installing an app is as easy as finding the app you're interested in and then just clicking on the install button. And then just give it a few moments to download and install. And when you're prompted to, click on the install button. Then you just click on the home button, find the app you installed in your app folder, and it'll be on the bottom as your last installed app. Okay, so the next app is a TV app, and it's quite popular, so you may have heard of it. It's called Pluto TV. Now, this app provides you with free TV, and you don't even have to make any account of any sort. It's definitely a go-to app for any Fire Stick TV users. Going into the app, we can see on the left hand side we have options of live TV and we have free movies and TV shows on demand. So once you've selected your program, you just click on it and it will go into full screen. So straight away guys, you can see there's loads of choice of some very popular movies and TV shows. Now the next app lets you screen mirror your Apple devices, so your iPads, your iPhones. So if you type in air screen into your search bar, it should come up and it's pretty popular. Once it's downloaded, click on open and just follow the on-screen instructions, which is basically just clicking on the start button. And after it's initialized, it'll wait for you to connect with your iPad. And all you need to do on your Apple device is swipe down and click on screen mirroring. And you should see the app ASAF in the box. And that's it guys, you can pretty much do anything on your iPad and it'll be mirrored onto your TV. Even landscape mode works. So guys, I think all these apps are worthy contenders for your Fire Stick TV and you should definitely give them a try. Now, if you want to emulate all your favorite retro game systems quickly and easily, this guide is for you. Ask yourself, why go through the trouble of configuring a Raspberry Pi to play RetroPie, when the Fire Stick can do it instead, and for cheaper? So you may be asking, what is RetroArch? In short, RetroArch is an emulation platform that can be installed on many different devices and operating systems. This includes Windows, Linux, Android, and Apple devices. So here I am playing the PC emulation of Doom. As you can see in here, it's 99% perfect. The sound and picture are perfect, giving you retro perfection. Heck, some might say it's better than the original, and RetroArch gives you the ability to cheat with a live rewind. So if you die in the game, you can do a quick rewind in-game, just before that point and play on. Okay, so I also added Quake, another retro classic. Now, as you can see in here, this plays equally as well as Doom with that familiar retro fuzziness. Now do remember you are playing this on an emulator on the Fire Stick 4K TV. I'm astounded by what the Fire TV can do. Now I couldn't leave out the classic Street Fighter and Street Fighter 2 Turbo in this instance. So sit back and watch me lose. Now can you believe it, I actually played this game on the actual arcade machines. 
and it's still as addictive and great fun as then. Ah, oh, I hate this bit. Take that! Ah, oh, no! Now I can tell you now, I haven't got any better since the original game came out. Now the next emulator I want to show you is the PSP PlayStation Portable. So this is Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's a great little intro here. I'll leave it running for a bit. As you can see, the Fire Stick is having no problems running this intro. Okay, let's just play a one player game and let's go through the setup. I'll let it play for 10 seconds to give you an idea of what it's like. As you can see, it's a pretty well fancy experience. Okay, so you're probably wondering how you go about setting up RetroArch on your Fire Stick TV. Well, I'm going to show you how I did it. So to get RetroArch on your Fire Stick TV, you need an app called Aptoid. Now, I have made a previous video on how to get Aptoid on your Fire Stick TV. Just follow the link in the description below. Once you have it, do a quick search for RetroArch and simply download. Now, I've also downloaded an app called ES Explorer from Aptoid. It's a kind of a file explorer. I've used it to create a folder called ROMs under my RetroArch folder. This is where I'll place my ROMs. Once you launch RetroArch, the first thing you want to do is go to Online Updater and next Core Updater. And this is where you're going to choose your emulators, which you're going to run on your RetroArch. So I chose Doom. And I chose Quake. The Sony PlayStation Portable. Now I also downloaded the MAME emulator, which I haven't shown here, which allowed me to play the Street Fighter 2 game. Next, you need to navigate your way down to the Content Downloader folder. And it's here you can download your demo copies of Doom and Quake. Now for the other emulators, you'd have to transfer the ROMs from your PC into the folder you created earlier. Then it's just a simple case of going across the menu and you should see the game spring up. Pop into the game menu and then set the core association. And then go back up and run the game. And it should load pretty quickly. Now it's pretty much the same process for the Quake game. You set the core association and then just run. Now just follow the same process for all the other emulators and you'll be on your way. Now if you want to further enhance your gaming experience, you can, like me, connect your PS or Xbox controller via Bluetooth to your Fire Stick TV. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.